Welcome to the Summit City Sports Report. We've got SAC basketball Wednesday night hockey and gymnastics Carter Classic coming up. I'm Jeff Mahoney, and since 1990, the Belmont Wrestling Program has won every conference meet except three. In 1990, it was East Noble, then Columbia City in 2004. This year, another new champion was named. We take you inside the Carroll Fieldhouse for the 22nd Annual Northeast Hoosier Conference Wrestling Tournament. We're in the championship round and the reigning champ at 103 pounds is Homestead's Andrew Bowman. He's down 4-2 entering the third period. As the number one seed, he's taken on DeKalb Zuck Krumloff and Bowman quickly gets one point for the escape. Ten seconds later, the senior again shoots the leg. He's the 11th ranked wrestler in the state, gets two more points for the takedown, but after a Krumloff escape, we're back tied at five. In the final seconds of this match, Bowman gets two more points. He wins it seven to five. Spartan 119 pounder Cody George enters with a 29 and one record. He's the number one seed and is losing three to six to Belmont's Bobby Konecki and locks the leg. He sweeps the plant leg and gets in position for two points. Konecki, a 24 and nine record for the junior get an escape point but there's George with another two points and we're tied at seven we're going to extra time George trying to bring him down inbounds gets it gets the two points he goes on to win it nine to seven if I wrestled better in the first and second periods then I mean I my matches wouldn't be that close 135 pound weight class Homestead senior Josh Kreider upset Belmont's Dewey Melcher in the semifinals 9 to 7 and is up 5 to 3 against Carroll's Jeff Clark in the championship match with 45 seconds left to go in the third period Clark attempts to take down but Kreider holds his ground and gains position for 2 points he wins it 7 to 4 on to Belmont, where 171-pounder Raleigh Hankinson became the Braves' first champion. This is 215-pounder Travis Thatcher squaring off with Homestead's Brad Mill. Thatcher gets a quick two points and goes up 4-1 to one entering the second period. He's the number three-ranked wrestler in the state, taking on the number six-ranked wrestler. And Thatcher in position, trying to roll Mills over for the pin. 189-pound champion last year, Thatcher. He gets the pin at 3 minutes and 13 seconds. On to heavyweight Daniel Meyer. He's the number one ranked wrestler in the state and finished fourth at last year's state meet. He's shown here taking on Matt McClure of Carroll and McClure gets in the body and takes him down for two points. Meyer responds quickly when moments later McClure shoots again. Meyer lifts him up and slams him to the mat. His record would remain perfect, 31-0, after the pin at 46 seconds. Belmont takes second at the meet. We got to regroup, man. We got a, a tough sectional. We got South Adams in there. They're a ranked team right now, and uh, they're undefeated. And we got our hands full next weekend. We got to regroup and, and try to win that sectional and get to the uh, team regional game. Winning their first ever NHC meet is the Chargers, and it started with 145-pounder John Timmerman versus New Haven's Levi Francois. Timmerman's the 20th ranked wrestler in the state. He goes up 2-0 in the first period. He'd eventually win this match 9-1. 152-pounder Reese Lefevre enters undefeated at 27-0, taking on New Haven Zach Zerberg. He's 27-4. Reese gets two quick points and gives one up. He continued to get points, winning this match 14-4, his third NHC conference title of his career for the senior. Reese. 160-pounder Connor Lefevre also enters his match with a perfect 27-0 record. He's up against Belmont's John Malin. Lefevre racking up points in this match. He goes up 9-2. Connor looking for the pin. Gets his arm around the head and the leg, working on a cradle. He gets Malin into position. Lefevre, he gets the pin at 522. The Chargers' Spencer Raypole would be their last conference champion. Carroll wins the meet with 240 points. First time we ever won conference, of course. Destroying Belmont, felt great, and feels good for my family too. You know, they, uh, they're pretty proud of us winning conference, so feels pretty good. 
I just can't say enough about our young men. They work very, very hard in the room, and we got great senior leadership, and, and uh, it's just been a great year for them. I'm very proud of them, what they've accomplished. Homestead finished the meet in third place with a score of 176.5. Belmont took second with 228.5 points, and Carroll wins its first ever NHC meet by claiming four individual championships. The Chargers win it with a score of 240. Dwenger's score of 267 is good enough to win the SAC meet. They took four first place finishes. Snyder also had four meet champions, but finished second with a score of 230.